Hello there, thanks again for checking out my videos. This is Ed Monson, edscarpage.com. This video is being made in early July of 2016. So the point there being, we're just barely starting to get in the 2017 models. All the Foresters we have, except for a couple, are 2017s. You can't really tell, but the inside, they're so new, they just got off the truck. This one, that one there, see the paper hanging there? And you see the plastic inside there. So these really aren't ready for the showroom yet. They're all new. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna look at a 2017 Subaru Forester Limited standard model, which means it doesn't have all the option packages on it. And a 2016 Subaru Outback, which is a 3.6, it's a six cylinder. Now the Outback comes in a four cylinder. I don't have a silver one here. I'm actually making this video for a nice customer named Harvey. And Harvey, um, I know silver's important to you and I didn't really have much in the way of the Limited, which is the trim level that has leather. So these are both Limited, Limited Forester, Limited Outback, but the uh, Outback um, comes in a four or a six and the Forester comes in a four or a turbocharged four. They both get up to about two and a half hundred horsepower on the bigger motor or the turbocharged motor. I want you to see the difference between the Outback and the Forester. Now on the six cylinder for uh, Outback, you're gonna get um, a little bit less gas mileage and you get HID headlights, which is kind of nice versus a four cylinder limited, but um, the price is considerably more. And this Outback has, well, it's a couple grand more. And this Outback, um, the six cylinder has all the safety features. So you may not want to look at the price of this one um, until you know, I can let you know when a silver four cylinder is coming in or maybe one with less of the safety features. So anyway, here's the Outback. So the Outback is based on the Legacy. The Legacy is a sedan. Both these cars, the Outback and the Forester, have 8.7 inches of ground clearance, but the Outback has a longer wheelbase by about six inches. Um, like I said, both cars are the same distance off the ground, but the Outback is, has a seat that's lower to the ground. These both have leather. Once you get to limited, that's the trim level that has leather. And this one here has the keyless access with push button start. So all you have to do is walk up with this in your pocket, put your hand in the handlebar right here like this, and it unlocks the car. Then when you get out, you just touch these two lines right here, and the car locks. So now I'm walking up again, got the key in my pocket. It unlocks when I put my hand in there. Okay, so 18 inch rims, alloy rims on both of them. We'll take a look here at the Outback from behind. And um, lots of legroom in the back too. I'm not sure how many back passengers you have, but uh, the key fob also works as a key fob. There we go, lots of room in the back and rear air conditioning vents in here, along with rear heated seats. Looking at the back, now see the out, the Forester. Oh, I tripped. <laughs> All right, the Forester's actually higher. If I get this level here, see the one behind it is a little bit higher. People usually think the Forester is bigger, but really overall the Outback is bigger. So here's the Outback. This is the six cylinder. As I mentioned, it does come in a four. It's got a power lift gate and lots of room in the back. This is the uh, luggage compartment cover that isn't actually installed yet. So we'll move this. See how the seats fold down in a split. And plenty of room in the back here. Seats five overall. The Forester, go ahead and push the button here. All right. As we mentioned on the phone, it is a higher presentation. The seat is actually higher off the ground, even though both cars have the same ground clearance. The Forester has a power driver's seat with lumbar support, but never really has a power passenger seat in any way ever. Okay, so this Forester, and by the way, it's pretty hard to get out of a moonroof once you get into leather on the Outbacks. I could get a 2016, uh, limited with no uh, moonroof but it wouldn't have the safety and it wouldn't have the keyless so here's the moonroof on the outback here's the moonroof on the forester not like you harvey wanted even to see this but i just thought i'd show you what you're getting and then um in the forester in the back seat 
Same thing, splits. We're gonna split here. Good leg room, a little more in the Outback than in the Forester. And the Forester, when you're in the leather, the limited trim level, it's gonna have that power lift gate as well. There's your backup camera right there. And as you can see, the opening is higher from here to here, but it's not as deep. And the wheelbase on this Forester is about six inches shorter. So, there you go. That's a 2017 Subaru Forester. Just a quick look here at some things. Um, this Forester has the blind spot detector. See the little light or the little symbol right there? They light up when somebody's in your blind spot. And the Outback has that as well. Okay, now on the Forester, you're going to have um, the... Um, not, this one here doesn't have the eyesight. Decide how to approach the eyesight here while I'm talking. Eyesight is these two cameras. I'm not sure if you can see them. Right there, there's a camera on either side of the rearview mirror. They look like human eyes almost. This looks 260 feet forward and prevents you from hitting the car in front of you. And it has uh, passed every test, every time, every time it was tested by the Insurance Institute for Highway Safety, along with some other people. It's the only system of its kind that can boast that. It also has adaptive cruise control. Keeps you from, uh, well, it keeps you a set distance that you control behind the car in front of you when you're on cruise. It has some other nice features. The Forester does not have that. So on the quotes I'm gonna give you on these particular cars, there's gonna be a big difference between the Forester, four cylinder without Outback, I mean, without EyeSight, and the Outback six cylinder with EyeSight and navigation and keyless access with push button start okay so there's a just a look at them we'll try to give you a look here from this way too forester outback 2017 subaru forester limited standard meaning it doesn't have the eyesight or anything 2016 subaru outback six cylinder with eyesight thank you again www.edscarpage.com Ed Monson, 844-DIAL-ED-NOW.